Hey guys, Sehaman is back with another figure review. We're continuing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Collection. I'm guessing you can call this Series 2. We already looked at Rocksteady, now today we're going to be taking a look at Bebop. Two villains from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series back in 88, which was one of my favorite animated series. And Bebop and Rocksteady were just two lovable characters, even though they were villains, they were just dorky guys, and you gotta love them. Packaging is exactly the same as all the other classic lines that we have gotten. You can see the turtles there. It does read Bebop. On the right, right there, it does read inspired by the original TMNT animated series, fully articulated figure. There's Bebop in the packaging, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles classic collections by Playmates. Here is a back shot of the packaging, all the other figures that complete the classic collection. Uh, nice little artwork of the turtles versus Bebop Rocksteady. And a little bit of a read up if you guys want to read that, feel free to pause and do just that. Alright guys, let's go ahead and take this figure outside of the package. Let's take a closer look at Bebop. And here he is, a nice little 360 look at Bebop. Now this one here, just on the paint alone, is, is one of the better of the two figures. I really like how this one came out. I love the paint applications they use on this guy and I love the way Bebop looks overall. So let's get a quick top to bottom look, you can see him right there. Very, very cool looking figure. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at Bebop. Okay, let's look at the accessories. Again, he does come with a, a base, same as all the other turtles came with, and uh, Rocksteady does read Bebop. Plain looking color, it's a manhole, he got the pegs there. So, still pretty cool, just wish they would have had a little more uh, paint on it. He does have a weapon here, you can see he has a gun. And he does hold this very well, just like Rocksteady did. It's got a little, like, drill bit at the end. But this one actually is a little colored. It's got, like, a black uh, uh, paint to it, so this is pretty cool. Unlike Rocksteady's, where it's more just plain looking. But this is pretty nice. Looking at Ro uh, Bebop now. So that's those are the only accessories that he does come with. But this figure is so nice. I really enjoy how this one came out. The head sculpt looks pretty good. You can see his little glasses there. He's got the uh, purple mohawk. And uh, the skin the skin color on this one's pretty good as well. He's got the nose ring. Now, if you guys don't remember who Bebop and Rocksteady were, they were two basically thugs. Um, they are basically two thugs, and then they uh, 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 tried out for... Sh or got, it, got it to a... Uh, if I remember correctly, they Shredder mutated them into, you know, obviously a warthog, and Rocksteady is a... Uh, is a rhino, and then they ended up, ended up becoming, you know, his uh, his thugs. But that's that's pretty much how they became to be. They were both humans at one point, and then they just mutated into animals slash humans. But this figure is very very nice. Again, the paint on this, I just love how it looks. You can see the shells there on the shoulder, which looks really cool. He's got the necklace with the little skulls and bones. He's got this little strap that's going around the torso. You can see also he's working out. He's got a nice. Uh, Nice, nice torso there. Uh, you can see the arms right here. These are very muscular figures. He's got the little uh, bracelet there with the spikes. This one's a little bigger. And the jeans. He's got a nice blue on the jeans. You can see a lot of little wrinkles and stuff. He's got a chain belt. And I really like how the shoes came out on here. You can see the laces kind of look like they're Adidas slash Converse. There's the bottom with the peg holes. So this guy came out to be really really nice um, he's got like two little grenades or bombs right here on the uh, right side of the shirt get a close up on that head sculpt looks very 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 nice back shot very muscular figure so that's how Bebop looks now in the way of his articulation the head can just rotate it doesn't go up and down it actually kind of does very slightly but it can rotate there the arms do go in and out forward and back, a bend at the bicep, double jointed, low, uh, lower wrist rotation, or lower forearm rotation, low, and the, the hand can rotate and go in and out. He's got the upper torso articulation, does not rotate much though, so be careful to try not to rotate, you're going to break it off, so he, this one rarely rotates. He's got a little bit of an ab crunch, the legs do go in and out, forward and back, double jointed at the knees, lower, or I'm sorry, the leg can rotate, and uh... The foot can rotate, doesn't go up and down, no foot or toe articulation, just a rotation. So this one's a little more, um, less articulated than Rocksteady. I, I, don't, I wouldn't really say less articulated, but this articulation's a little more on the stricter side. 
Uh, but this is a very cool figure, guys. Let's go ahead and do some size comparisons. So these are all the, the two figures on the right, the ones that were just released, and there's Donatello on the left. I'm sorry, I'm Leonardo. Now, I guess you can say he... Uh, I don't know. To me, it doesn't look like they're really in scale with the turtles. Just the turtles seem a little bit bulkier, but I could be wrong. I haven't seen the cartoon in a while, but this is what they all look like side by side. Um, I don't have Leo on his base, though, so he might be a little bit taller than, than uh, both figures. And there you have it, guys. These are the two figures that we got from the new uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Collection based off of the 88 cartoon. Bebop and Rocksteady. Definitely recommend these figures. I love them. They're going to go great for my display because I'm a big fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So go ahead and go check these figures out, guys. Uh, definitely recommend them. And I know you guys who grew up in the 80s who love the Turtles are definitely going to want these. And they go great with the uh, Classic Collection uh, TMNT figures. So definitely check them out, guys. Whole, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned, I got a lot more videos on the way, and uh, that's it, Sehaman is out guys, take care.